episode six. six. Oh wow. Oh wow, I didn't even intro you yet. Guess who made it made it back? Mm-hmm. Christy I'm Ayala. Here. Hi. I'm back. I'm, I'm like, Rob Ayala. I like how Chrissy get intro before me. This I know, she be. snuck one in. <laughs> like she got one before me. Word, she didn't got an intro and everything. She's being very disruptive. But anyway, I'm Rob I'm Ayala and we got Kadeem Phillip. This is the Fantasy and Color Podcast, episode <laughs> six. Yes, sir. Somehow the same thought juice is laid over from episode five. We don't talk about it. We not. I don't get it. That's but anyway. Why, that's why I, I introduced myself first. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> we can tell. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's get right in <laughs> to some art talk. Ooh. Let's talk royalties. Mm-hmm. Art royalties. We know royalties as far as recording yeah, artists, music, of course. Yeah. And um, you know, as they put music out over the years, every time it's played, whether film, television, mm-hmm. whatever, they get some money back for that, right. or you know, sales. So mm-hmm. art royalties. What do yeah. you guys think of that and how that works, Kadeem? It's necessary. I believe so, because here's the thing: like when you look at a piece, like uh, what was it, Vasquez's piece after he died was like thirty million dollars. It was a piece yeah. for him that sold for thirty million dollars. No one from his his family I know. or anybody's And that's because that. that was somebody had already bought it from him right. for whatever the price was at that time. But at the same time, you it. get royalties, that means residual income will come down to you. No matter what, for the, the history of that right. work. It's your work. And I feel like the idea of artist royalties for visual artists, because we really don't get royalties. It's like no. once we sell it, it's done. Yeah. And that's it, it's that final sale. The one thing that's missing for visual artists is the fact of collecting money residually down the years. Like, for us, it's always an in-the-moment, work, sell, next mm-hmm. job type of thing. And I think for the fact for us, especially when it comes down to making creative, like a stable creative life for artists, it is the fact that we need something down the road. We do need something just beyond the point of sale. Yeah. And I believe in regards to just beyond the point of sale, it is the fact that we need royalties. We need residual income. We need income coming down the road. But so how do we, so so how does that work? You said, okay, let's say. I believe say, it's just on paper. So let's say you so okay, let's take, let's take, um, right, let's take for example, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> let's say a painting that I might have sold in 2015, right? Mm-hmm. Where I, I've only, I only was painting maybe like a year or two at the time. So now, how does that work? How will I be able to get money? So, for... say you sold the painting at like a thousand dollars. Okay. Oh, let's right? be more realistic. Being that is when I first started. So let's say I sold the painting for like. Three hundred. Uh, no, let's be real. Let's be realistic. When I first started painting, no, I wasn't selling paint for three hundred. So mm-hmm. let's say it was a hundred. That's, okay. that's that's a real price. Let's be real. Okay. Come on. A person just first starting out. So let's say I sold a painting for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. And then say the resale price on that painting is like a thousand, right? Because it's been like three or four years. Yeah. About your, in, who you are, your recognition got built up. Okay. You should at least be receiving like 10, 20% of that. If that person that bought my painting wants to resell it. Like yeah. Said. If they're reselling it at a higher price, exactly. you should be re- receiving at least anywhere from 15 to 20% of that. Sale. How, how, now how will the artist know that somebody's reselling their work? Now, if you got. This will also go into an artist and the business. So first of all, your name should be copywritten. What you think sound like a pimp. See, you artists gotta know your business. <laughs> you gotta know your business. I'm like, it's tell the us truth. Like, 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 person who got aggressive. I went to school for business, so it's like you under, have to understand copyrights, trademarks. So as an artist, you gotta also understand on the business end, you need to have. Yeah, I think you gotta understand it's not banging the table with the mic. Oh, that's, just, that's the way we talk. I didn't think no. I banged the table. No, you go. Yeah, right. He didn't bang the table. I thought I lightly tapped it. Um, <laughs> This but. nigga shaking the table. That's all. <laughs> Love a hip hop. I came to show. Yeah, okay. Oh, so but you know enough, nigga. I know enough. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you need to have your name copyrighted. You need to have certain things trademarked. Okay. So it's like, say you're king. Your right. king is trademarked to you. So whenever that image is being used or I being get resell, something. you should be able to get some money on the back end of it, and it has Rob Ayala's signature on it that's copyrighted. So okay. that's like your your name and your image is being used. So it's like anytime that money is being transferred to that, you definitely need to obtain some type of profit for it. Okay. And I think for artists, they need to know how to, one, copyright their name. Whether your name is Life of Dean, Rob Ayala, Arpre, Christy Ayala, whatever it is, copyright that name. Because as long as that name's being used and being transferred from like purchase to purchase, 
you should be receiving some type of income. What do you think, Christy? About I mean, well, how would that royalties? work? Because it's like if I sell it to someone, I don't keep in contact with that person. How will I know that they won't try to sell sell it behind my back? Well, like, I guess you don't. Some things like you have to have a C. Um, well, like some type of contract or something. When you sell certain pieces, you need a COA. A certificate of authentication. Oh, so, yeah, huh? yeah. So it's like which a lot of us don't do. Right. I don't think I can. We do I, that on our own way. Yeah, you can. You can print okay. out the form. And the thing is, like, when anybody buys that, that has to go through that, and that's a notification on you that hey, something that you authorized has been purchased. Mm -hmm. So then that's going to let you know. You authenticate a word? Authenticated. Uh, we'll probably authenticated. Probably authenticated. <laughs> right? well, 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 we never, we never played. <laughs> we never played to be rocket science. Right? I'm, I'm not. not I'm we're not, not English super majors. Yeah. Right? But, uh, you know, anything that you officially give that stamp, like I created. It is a little harder to keep track of it, though. It's, it's like it's, it's like music. It's not like music as much where somebody's going to use yeah. a Beatles song in a movie. And they're gonna catch it and then exactly sue. right. But it's like say you your work. You've been doing so much work. You've done so many shows that a piece for you is now go for a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, a piece mm -hmm. that you used to sell for a hundred thousand, a hundred dollars might be worth more than the piece you're now selling for a hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. So it's, yeah. the, it's the idea of the fact of you're still receiving income down the road. Like for artists, there is no retirement plan. There is no retirement plan. There is no pension. Nope. There is no insurance. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, the fact we need to create something yeah, where we have that unity. Great. Yeah. And that's why that I think like royalties is that. Cause but do you think it will happen though? It sounds great, but will it can it, it happen? can happen? It can, but you need the more powerful artists to really be on top of it. Those who are like really popular right now. Yeah. You need those people to really be making to a word start of that. it. Mm -hmm. Because the, here's the thing, like artists like us, we're really we're not really that we're underground, but we really aren't known to the masses like that. Yeah. We can make an impact, we can do what we want to like kick in that door, but the people that already got the door cracked, you guys set a change. Yeah. It's like the NFL, right? They don't get guaranteed money. But they get the most injuries more than basketball players. Of course. Like you can your whole life can be changed by a wrong tackle. Over. But they don't get a guaranteed eighty million dollars. Kevin Durant gonna get a yeah. guaranteed ninety. Regardless. No matter what. But they didn't they didn't come to that discussion table right. You need the right people who have the right influence on that to come to that right discussion table where it's like, this is the way things gotta get laid out. We kinda have to be able to create our own industry. So Swiss Beats is kinda like um wasn't he recently coming out about about royalties? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think it's very interesting from someone like Swiss. I like the fact that he was someone who is pushing that because he is with being in hip hop, hip hop is pop culture. Yeah. And you're someone who pushes pop culture and you're pushing art. So you're also pushing both into like what is popular. And he is familiar with how it works because he does music. music. Mm -hmm. Right. So that so makes sense. To have someone like him in that negotiation area would be helpful to understand the royalties of production, or understand the royalties of payment. He can just break it down and maybe they can like assess it and attach it to how it would work to art. Because yeah. you can't really attach royalties to prints. Prints don't work like that. No. But yeah, a painting, original. yeah, a painting, original, yeah, yeah. Right. original painting. Like, imagine if a Basquiat, you know, his family or his estate, you know, they had royalties to a painting that sold for thirty million dollars. That might, they might get like a thousand, exactly, two thousand, maybe yeah. up to ten thousand yeah. dollars just for that painting being reselled. Yeah. And the idea of royalties is really more like. As artists, I don't have a family. Like, I'm not creating a family yet. Like, I'm 28, but I don't have, like, kids or nothing mm -hmm. yet. But it's like, you're more when you have royalties, whoever is down the road. Exactly. It's, for, it's for them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Eventually, exactly. yeah. So, you know how many people, uh, they, they survived off that, um, of getting those royalties? Mm-hmm. That's like with the, not to get into that topic, but with the whole Bill Cosby stuff, mm -hmm. as far as taking the show down. You know how many people was eating off those royalties? That's why they had your man up in the um the dude that worked for the you heard the story, right? The, yeah. He was Oh yeah, the dude from here. Yeah. Which a lot of actors do, like in between, yeah. but but who knows? Maybe some of them royalties slowed down. He had to go get a regular to, job. To, just in between. But that's you know, the jobs, thing, it's yeah. like royalties help people down the road. It's like when you trademark something, you mm -hmm. copyright yeah. something, mm -hmm. you get paid somehow, some way, whether it's small or it's big. Yeah. Well I I, I understand it and um Cause I actually I've, I've done I've done things 
where I get royalties from this day. Like, and it comes, sometimes it comes small, it comes random. Like, you just get a check in the mail. So that shit comes in handy. But I just know it's a lot easier to manage it when it comes to music. But I don't know. We'll see what art. Like, we'll, licensing, like how you said. Yeah, like get like exactly. If you could license, it's just it, it's always more a little more complicated with art. Right. But I think the thing with art is just like with us as creatives, we kind of gotta find a way to like centralize it. Yeah. Like if we create a video content, we have to know how to copyright our names and stuff. Where it's like the photos and everything that's our name. So it's like if you you want to put this, you want to use this, you gotta pay us. Mm -hmm. Like. There are artists who will do cover art and all these things, but it's like, are you licensing your name, your images, or whatever you put your name on with the copyright? So that way you get paid for everything that's sold and you make sure everything that's, you know, being duplicated is giving you profit. We gotta figure it out. Um, we actually gonna, um, we're gonna start, right now you can follow us on our Fantasy and Color NYC page, mm -hmm. but we're gonna get our own Instagram, because as we talk about these topics, Maybe we could have, you know, people that are listening uh, want to chime in on their opinions. Because I'm sure a lot of y'all have your own ideas on things or how things could work. You know, maybe y'all could chime in. So we'll try to hook that up on the on our um, Fantasy and Color podcast Instagram soon. But um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. To me, um, I think it's going to be hard to pull it off. I'm not saying it's impossible, but right. we'll see. You know, hopefully that works out. Bunch of uh, mathematicians, like oh, everybody is accountants. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, we might as well get right into it. We got a special guest just stepped in the building. He's talking about mathematicians and accountants. Oh, Milo. <laughs> that was a yeah, mathematician. Yeah. See, is that, I cannot sue for that. That is, I was unaware. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Bingo, welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing, bro? Ladies and He's on? late as a motherfucker. <laughs> as per you. Do not judge me. I'm working on my Super life. Negro He's time. the most each humble day. late nigga, too. Each and every day, I'm working. You know what, too? He'll come late, but he'll come smooth and humble, so you don't get too mad. He's like, ah, don't hey. judge me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know he's going to be late, man. I told it's you. Not his old, it's not OD late. It's like normal Sean it's Bigger late. actual, like... Yeah, fashionably late. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it used to be a thing. Now, it's just... It's a problem. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get together. <laughs> So Sean, let's get in, let's get into it. When we have our people come in for the first time, we want to like go back and find out when they started getting into like being a creative person. You you painted it. Did it start with painting? Did it start with drawing? When take us back to your earliest memory of, of art. Okay, so I recently just started painting. So people be like, oh, there's no way that you can possibly have just started painting three, four years just recently. Okay. Um. But I always go back to those that, that usually start who say that and they're really who good, they're pretty, pretty good at it. Yeah. It's because they have a background in art. They started in art since the kids. And for me, the same thing. Since two of my earliest memories, I've been drawing, I've been sketching. I've been interested in art. Bob Ross. Like, yeah. That was okay. one of, you know, that was the earliest memories. But um, I used to, my, my mother used to draw those stick figures for me. Tell us where like you're that. from too, by the way. Oh, so I'm sorry. Can, uh, so we can get a visual. I'm from Harlem, born and raised. Still. West Harlem like, or East Harlem? I am Harlem. one of the few people there. They can't get me out. I ain't going to be there until <laughs> the end. I have people in Harlem. West Harlem or East Harlem? Oh, I'm from West Side. I'm from 139th yeah. and Lennox Avenue. From okay. Danger Zone. Danger Zone? They used to call it. Back in the days. It's not very dangerous Danger anymore. Danger Zone? What the hell that they, they, they building the Zaras up there now. So it's like, oh, okay. it's very safe. What is Danger Zone? Well, well, oh, well, we, well, we might as well get into Danger Zone. is um That's where, if anybody knows yeah. about Big L, he mentioned... One thing oh, like Lennox right. is the yes, danger zone. That is that's actually that's my that block. blood yeah. cousin. That is my my mother's. Like this is when it sounds weird, but yeah, my, my mother's cousins. That, that's their kids. So they, we all a nice big happy family. How but, did, was did Big L? How long was he always nice? Like even like as a kid, as a rapper. Like, yeah. Um. Uh, well, no, I actually didn't know he was a rapper at the time. Like, I knew him, like, cousin shit. Like, he bullied me, did type of shit that <laughs> cousin do. And then you find out later, like, oh, you actually have a talent other than just being a dickhead. So he wasn't just, <laughs> he wasn't just known for just rapping around the house and shit? No, 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 no. Because no. there was other brothers. There was three brothers. Uh, Leroy, Biggie, I uh, mean, Biggie. <laughs> Leroy, Big Al, and Donald. So Donald uh, is the only one alive. Rest in peace to the other two. Uh... So you know there was there was a lot going on in that house, and that's we were talking about Dapper Dan. That was, their mother was the one that had everybody wearing Dapper Dan and being. But I digress. Big Al, we're gonna know, get into some Dapper Dan stunt in a minute. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, Big Al, he he 
he was under that. And they, they, the two older brothers was just in the mix. They was Harlem through and through. And, you know, he was just coming up. Like, well, a few years younger than them. So when uh, his older brother, like, really became a, a real name in, in that neighborhood, um, He's, he's the one that actually would, would started the whole thing, would, would led to Big L being killed and all that. that that's that's the story, whatever okay. the case may be. So, you know, them, they're both not here anymore. But, you know, it was the older brother, you know, he, he was out there and Big L, you know, that, that's your brother. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, that whole mix. So, they, Big L was uh, artistic. I, I can say that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. like different. Not, not really, he wasn't the street character. Like, so... When he came on, he, when I found out later that, you know, he was nice and rapping and everybody he knew and all that, like, he had already been, he had the, um, he had a video coming out that was, uh, Put It On. Put It On, okay. So, um, Put It On, put, uh, put It On, the beginning of it is actually done in my grandmother's house, like, that's him waking up in the house, that's actually oh, okay, when he's waking uh, up? Yeah, right. that, was, that was her bedroom. I mean, her living room. Okay. It wasn't even the bedroom. So, he, uh, you know, it was... Everybody in the hood was, you know, like that. It was behind. That was before Mace. That was before. Yeah, way before. Cam, yeah. So that was everybody was behind that. That was that was a big move. Kid Capri, Kid Capri there. They got the, the Jamaican nigga Greg, who, who's a whole different entity. Yeah, like everybody. <laughs> yeah, it was a different time. Like people was actually about the shit that they were saying in they round and, and that era. Like hell oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Big L rapping, what he rapped about was basically about his older brother doing all, you know, they was, they was the thing. It was the NFL. Stuff that he was, that his brother was doing more? Yeah, okay. in the NFL. Like I said, they none, basically none of them are there except for Don. Don is the one, and he's still keeping legacy going. He's trying to push the story and okay. doing all of that. But you think they'll ever be like a movie? They trying. They trying hard. They did a documentary just recently, but it's, you got like, the, the person who has the, the information is um, Lil Finesse. Like, how big is Lil Finesse right now? Like, I, well, what do you mean he has the information? Like, uh, he got the rights to everything, is what I'm saying. Like, so. Oh, what, what um, Big L was signed directly to him? That was Dickin' in the Crates. That okay. Oh. DITC. So, that was, uh, Fat Joe was down with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of that. So, that brown site, like, so he still has, remember, Donald Try, you know, and they was button heads, even the father. Like it was a lot. This is this is messy. Like it's See, like I would, James I would think Brown that, messy. I would think <laughs> that maybe you can't use the music legally, but I would think nobody can couldn't just be able to make a movie about. Listen, oh, oh, this shit. That's this perfect for a podcast. This is so lifetime. Got from my block. We gonna mention no names, you know, because we don't know how big it's gonna get. Yeah, yeah. looking for me. These old gangsters. They might still be kind of tough. One just recently passed, but one of them just did a book, like. Fuck it, I'm a tell all. And yeah. Everybody's like, oh my god, like. So wait, somebody from this? from the block? Yeah. Okay. Some dude from the block. I mean, he was there, and you know, but he wasn't. They felt like you wasn't there, there, like you wasn't in it. Like, but what is he supposedly doing? telling all about? About the whole story, about who did what, he naming names, who was there, and you know, he just got an opinion about the whole situation. And, and, and so, where's this book out on? Like, he selling that shit on the gram or whatever? <laughs> selling on the street corner? <laughs> it might be on the train. It might be that dude with the train like, selling. How worried, it might be him. How like, worried should we be? Like, um, doing it? Nah, like, um, it's about. So, just a random dude from the block did a tell all. About everything that happened. That's what you gotta see. It, it's that's what they saying. Like it, it was is. a random dude because nah, it is. Oh, because people have passed. He's thinking. Nah, he, he was there. Nah, he was there. Like I said, he was getting money, nigga, and all that. But it was like he got locked up during that time. So when everything went down, he wasn't. Why did the Sean Baker episode have to get me shot when I want to go? Buy I'm not saying like y'all trying to give me a hot like, shot. Like, this is actually <laughs> relevant. Listen, bro. I'm Niggas from just from died from this. Like, I want to go to this all of mess. I want. Yeah, ask for freaking skeleton. I ain't know who's gonna dig up skeletons. We didn't even fully get into the art. Yeah, I tried. We just hold on. Wait, let's take a pause. Thank you. I feel like this nigga's about to. As I'm talking, I'm like, oh shit, we all gonna die. They, I. It was his brother. Fuck it. I ain't named no names. And the cousin. <laughs> I was like, oh lord. I right, right. get it. R.I.P. Hey, we all love hey, yeah, we we go, we go talk some, We gonna talk some more big L hip hop in a yeah, minute. But to... I want this nigga. You know, I mean, this nigga drinking some brown shit in a palm in it, yeah. a, 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 a palm, palm, palm granite. a pomegranate palm. It's drink bottle, but that's not <laughs> pomegranate palm juice. Hell, 
healthy uh, so, <laughs> inebriation. Everybody that knows Sean, they know his drink of choice. Yeah. We just, we're gonna give you a hint. He's brown and he's from Harlem, so you should know what the fuck it is. Take my glasses off. We're gonna get serious. But let's talk a little bit more. Let's get serious here. All right. So now, this is why I wanted. This is why I really wanted to talk to you. Because, so you would say, I would say your style, like for example, let's say I do like, um, I do pop art or abstract art. Okay. I would say you do more or less realism, right? It, it would be realism. Because you paint, it you do portraits. Classical or whatever you want to call it. Classical, yeah. And he it's so more, more classical. Yeah, classical. It just, that makes it feel like you're more refined and shit, but. But I'm not. Like, I'm <laughs> self-taught. I am like, I am the But that leads me to the point. And I can't teach anybody. Who's your favorite artist? Rembrandt. How the, nigga said fuck, how the fuck is Rembrandt your favorite artist? His favorite musician is Beethoven. And listen. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm a good Rembrandt. Because he even took it as pencil. But wait. And, all, and, I, and I, but I love him me. All right, so. Why you love Rembrandt? I can't think of one Rembrandt painting. You can't I don't think of. I really him. fully remember what I was going to say, and I can't name him. Christy, you want to do some Google facts? All right, so you want to know real facts? I, before I got to the art paintings. show, I didn't know shit about artists. Actually, I took art history. <laughs> I was like... Mm. In high school? No, in college. I, oh, I, I did take art oh, history. Oh, you went to college? No, I'm just going to... Right. Yeah, <laughs> wait, I think I did. You, all right, we gonna, that's later. Like, hold on before y'all get to really judging me. <laughs> so listen, anyway, I did. I went to college and I took... Uh, I had two art classes during the whole time. The one was a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh... Art class? It, yeah. No, it, it was design. It was uh, art and design. Art and design. It was art and design, but the class itself was advertising. There. Oh, okay. So it was advertising. Like class. advertisement art. Yes. Okay. So it, it was you know it was how to present art and you know and like media like. How to how to Christy show emotion? Christy was supposed to show us picture of Rembrandt, but she's just on Instagram. Oh, wait, Are you trying? To, yeah, she she just she digressed. <laughs> I can tell. for real. But go ahead, my bad. But you know, it was just it was just like how to express different art in like different emotions. How how to show excitement. How to show a uh, sad. Like, that makes different sense. things like that. It makes sense. But so after you do that, type in Vermeer. That is like I, I like Rembrandt because Rembrandt. This, when I say Rembrandt, people will be like, Oh, I know who he is. Vermeer sound like a nigga you punch in the face. Type of type that nigga Vermeer was getting crazy last night. I had to punch <laughs> yeah, that exactly. That nigga Vermeer be bugging me. Ooh, Vermeer Johnson. Yo Vermeer. Yo. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vermeer. Vermeer sound like a nigga trying to talk to your girl when you're not around. <laughs> I was definitely gonna say he got the curly flat top. <laughs> exactly, like, come on, yo, yeah. light skin '80s nigga. Ass. Look, this nigga, with the, the bear with the fucking heart. <laughs> but Rembrandt makes sense <laughs> when it comes down to dark. Is the dark? Yeah, I like the dark. But type of Vermeer, Ver, V E R M M E E R. Why are you doing that? <clears throat> Rembrandt makes sense when it comes down to your style because I look at pieces that you've done. Like if anyone has ever seen your like Edgar Allan Poe piece, your clown Thank piece. You. It does have a Rembrandt feel when I look at the I Rembrandt. I think it's a research on you. Get Edgar Allan Poe. I would think. Piece. Yeah, I mean, y'all was all there. Like you, he didn't see it. You know, I got. But I know got them journalists. I don't even know ever. I'm a qualified, qualified journalist almost. <laughs> 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 I'm like, now I see the difference. I see the difference in the styles. He like, he actually, he he's like. You said it in 2014 on Instagram. Uh You said what really drove you to that type? What makes you attract to that style? And okay. I actually just like that art. Like when I go to the museum, that's the type of art. No. Oh, that's the type of art that I want to see. Mm. Like when I go to a museum, like I, if you have like a, a couple circles and like some ovals and a square and then some shades, yeah, squiggly yeah, lines, and you're like, art. this is a woman drinking water out of a well. Right. And I'm like, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean for me personally, I'm like literally, I'm a Capricorn. I don't know if that's what means anything, but I'm like, I'm like <laughs> literal. Like I just, I show me what I like. Uh, this is the thing. Show me the best possible thing you like you could do in that. Like you want to draw a face, draw a face. Just draw the best possible. You basically face. live in the, the literal. Of the I'm very body. literal. I am a very okay. literal person. This is with me, right? Yep. Yeah. That is now. The thing a, little, a, little, a little more color. See, Rembrandt shit is very brown. What's up with all that brown? It's dark. Yeah, everything it's muddy. is very dark and muddy. But it's it's, it's so nice. that brings us to a nice thing when you say dark and muddy. Because right. aren't you colorblind? That's what I was gonna tell you about. Speaking Vermeer. of dark I and muddy, love yeah. Vermeer's art. That <laughs> you got to over fucking into. So I like Vermeer's because Vermeer's art is not very. Like I said, your eyes is dark and muddy. God damn! <laughs> I said I was gonna be ready. Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, but so what does that mean? You're colorblind. 
So, I don't see like a puppy. Like, I don't see grays and nothing like that. What it means is I can't What color is this? Orange? Yes. Oh, I'm But you weren't sure. No, not at all. I, and as a kid, you know, like, guys, like this. Guys, this is an orange squeaky toy. It's that right there. I'm like, yo, look at the blue truck. I just do something like that. Look at the blue truck over there. And people be looking like. What, what color What you mean, that purple thing what over there? And they be like, oh. What color is this book? I want to say blue. It is blue. Yeah. But, but you just weren't sure. The thing is because I colors that are close in color, I, I confuse. Like, as I was saying, blue and purple. Okay. I would confuse it. I'm that not sure sense. if which one is which. So as a kid, I thought I just didn't know my colors. Like, all right, fuck it. But have you ever taken the the, the test, the, the colorblind test? Anybody? Mm -mm. Uh, y'all, so. anybody well, ever like seen um? Picture with the numbers. Have you I ever seen like uh colors. Miss? What's the, what's the joint? Uh, with the little girl. Uh, damn. Oh shit! It was with was Steve Carell, Little Miss Sunshine. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, but I don't remember it. All right, so in Little Miss Sunshine, the little brothers in the back, the brothers in the back of the car, and he's like, I want to be a, a, a pilot. Okay. And they're like, Okay, you're gonna be a pilot. And she's she's just reading a book with him. She's like, Okay. How many colors do you see? And he's saying something, and she's looking, she's okay. like, oh no, this is, yeah, it's that right there. And so she's like, this is wait. This a colorblind test? Mm -hmm. Yes. So how many colors do you, like, what numbers do you see in the joint? Yeah, like, like, that's the, the point. Or the oh, I see the number, but maybe shouldn't you answer? No, I already know. I've, I've just done this. No, I've oh, done oh, this oh, a oh. lot. And I don't see, like, out of 30, <laughs> I like, see maybe five. Like, like I literally. I see a seven. Okay. I see, yeah, I see the seven. All right. Okay. That, this is the easy ones. Okay. So, wait, go back. Like, I don't even. This is iPhone. I, I get <laughs> stupid when it comes to iPhone. How about this? Do you see this one? Nope. That's 42. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys who's listening, we just, we, we're looking at eye tests on, yeah. on, on our phones. I don't see and anything so here, here. You see, everybody can see that? Wait, I just want to know if that's a comment. Everybody that's sees 42. It? Yeah. Yeah. Really? And you can't see that at all. Not even a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, like he is officially here. colorblind. Go check his paintings. His, like you said, his, yeah, I'm officially like, yeah, that just made me sadder just now. Like, like, oh. <laughs> his Instagram <laughs> is <laughs> underscore <laughs> Baker <laughs> underscore. That's so, so easy. See how he does his work being colorblind. That's crazy. So then, so that means you don't I, I so, actually know the colors you're choosing, or you know because you read the the name on the. Uh, if they don't have so, I, and it's funny is they used to have the colors like you know the names, but all of my shit's all fucked up. My brain fucked up. Wait, wait, but what? Have, you know what? Your paint... My paint is yeah, twisted. Your paint doesn't have the name of the paint on it? Nah, it's all... 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 like you would try to keep the name, like... But what is he doing? Biting you would have to understand. <laughs> you know, it's not... Wait. There's paint on it. Fuck it's, everything. Wait, wait, wait. Every, there's paint on everything in Wait, wait, wait. So wait. you don't see how... It might be paint on me right now. You gotta understand this. <laughs> wait, I name. literally have paint what? on every wait, my single nigga. thing in my house. You can't see the names on none of your paints? None. Because there's paint I, on I'm the like, cover? No, I have like a black and maybe like a white that you can see paint. But that's, but that's black and white. Who cares? But look. Nope. I but, don't. But wait. No. Yes, no, every nigga, no. Paint, wait, wait. <laughs> every bottle of paint, you get paint on the bottle? Yeah. But why? How? What because are you doing? Paint in the bottle? He's a messy painter with me. Not that. I paint oh. shit out the tube. Like I squeeze. And I just go straight up the tube. Oh, straight out. oh like you dip the brush into the tube? Yeah, because I'm colorblind. I, I mix everything on the canvas. I don't never mix on on the palette. Oh, so you don't use a palette because, or nothing? Nah, I don't. So wait, oh, how, so hold the fuck up. So when you blend and shit, you blending it right there on on the canvas. That's the most. So you go from you squeeze <laughs> the tube, put the brush, and just put it right onto the canvas, mm -hmm. and then mix then it on the canvas. Some water. So oh, then, how? Because you work with acrylic. I do. So how the fuck do you make sure that it doesn't like dry fast? It does dry. I just go right over it. Like, as I told my dog all the time, you can't mess up because you can always go over it. Is it safe to say you don't fully know the color of your paintings? Like you yes. see them differently than we see them, right? I probably do. Uh, different lights, like I, 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 I'd like to put different lights up to see. <laughs> I have a never a weird. I like to put my, in order to really see my can, like I like to put it, like I said, different lights, but I, I like to hold it up to mirrors. Kyle would tell you, he always attested is that, the mirror thing. So I, I hold up my canvases because I used to, I like to do portraits. And if a lot of people mess up portraits, mm -hmm. they get the eyes off, the ears and all that. And you know, one way that when I first started learning in order to fix it, I would look in the mirror, I would hold it up into a mirror. And you know, it immediately flips everything. And yeah. you can see, immediately see the, like if you, you've you been staring at someone, immediately can see what the- What color is that? Uh, 
maybe a purplish. Like I, what I what I will say is that <laughs> nigga is purple. What you say purplish? Because I'm not sure. What I would say, like I said, painting has helped me. Like I've seen so many colors. Like I've been doing it for so. So long. you have an idea what it looks like? Yeah, like I have a, a good like. It's almost like you cheat. After yeah, after stare at it for a, a long time. Like how are you with your reds and oranges? That gets weird, right? No, the the thing that they they want you to be um, distinctive on in color blindness is your reds and your greens. As long as you can distinguish red from green, you're supposed to be pretty good. My problem is I can do it except for in um, the, when it's, all, when it's LED all together. Lights. No LED lights, like the the, the oh the LED, LED lights, yeah, okay. like those. Like I honestly don't know what that color is right there. I wouldn't even lie to you. The the eight the eight thirty four. I don't know if it's red, green, yellow, orange. I wouldn't it's be able green. to tell you. It's good. It's like a greenish yellow. Yeah, right? It's like a green yellow. Yes. Once you see, once you say green, and you put the other one into. I'm I, like, I don't know I what the fuck we're talking about. That he's reading the the, the, the number on the cable box, and he doesn't know what the fuck color it is. No, I don't. It's a mess. But but that makes it dope too because no, it's take, like you don't wait. know. It's like you still can create, and it's like it becomes like a thing that. His, you don't okay. even have control over it in a sense. No, I don't have control over it. And me and Cobb, we go. But that becomes it. a part of it too. That makes. Well, that's what make the art. Because, you know, uh, your strengths and weaknesses. So, you know, you make your strength, you make your weakness your strength. Exactly. Um, One thing that me and Cobb was trying to figure out, you know, he's going back and forth. And it was like, oh, Kyrie, you know, that's my business partner. So, he, uh, it was like, how, you know, he's like, you're able to paint. Like, I, 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 I asked me how I do it. So, I sent my daughter sometimes next to me. And I'll be like, my daughter's seven. I'm like, hey, baby, what color is this? And she was like, oh, that's this. So she's your, your color advisor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can't do it, yeah, she'll, and she'll go. Why don't you just keep the names <laughs> on the color so you know what color you're using? How because about that I, like I said, the color get it get messed up sometimes. But yes, I can, I, I, I have an idea. Like, I, I have browns, I have blues. You have, you have, uh, like, I don't have a lot of purples or anything like that. I make my purples for the most part. So, you know, you I have an idea. There's a couple of browns that's really close to reds. And it's like, ooh. I don't know what to do. And this nigga making purple, that sounds right. like a fucking disaster. Uh, yeah. Because you don't know if you're going right. into the blue territory. You're right. And I, I can, but I, you saw I did the purple rain one. Yeah. Yeah. What I was crazy oh, about it. Then my point, what I was going to say, me, me and Kyle was talking, I was like, well, maybe it, it's, a, it's a plus for me, right? Because... You know, it's like usually uh, if, you, if you have a deficiency, you have a lack in something. So you can't see because it's like... This is, <laughs> I guess, salvaging the situation. Like, maybe you have too much. Like, I see too many of the, the spectrum. Yeah. Because I can I can duplicate something really well. Yeah. I might not be able to get it on my own. Like, make a blue. I ain't gonna be able to do it like that. You know what I mean? Or make a, you know, mm -hmm. create this color. But if I can look at it, I can really duplicate that. That That's, that's a shrimp for me. That's, that's the, thing I can do. the one thing I always found interesting, I forgot who told me, but they was like, when you're doing portraits, you should put in like a grayscale kind of landscape type of thing to catch the lightings and the shades. And that's one thing I noticed with your portraits, you really are good at catching like the lighting and the shading and the shadows. And it's because naturally you just see it in that version. It's just translating it into color is a little bit yeah. difficult. That's your part. It's just like, that's the thing where it's like, eh, that might take a little time. But to get the grayscale part of it down, it's nothing yeah. to really capture the shadows for you. Yeah, the shadows, the seeing the dogs and the but lights. But that, that clears that up, because I think when people hear colorblind, they think you see gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? that, that's, that's, yeah. A, that's the first misconception. But that's not. You see colors, you just see them off. Yeah, I don't see the, the colors the way you see it. And that's the one thing I do want to, like, I would love to see my paintings like everybody else see it. That's so, dope. that makes it interesting, like, me and Rob, we both use bright colors. We both use yeah. vibrant colors. So when you look at our art, I see bright colors. Like I'm looking here and I can see bright colors. I don't know if he just not as see, bright as everybody. He might not, he might not see what I'm exactly what color. Right. Like so do might. you see it duller? That's what I, I wonder. Like I don't know. I think he just sees it different. I can't see it through your eyes. So things that might be orange might be red. Things that might be blue might be purple. So I think he, I think it doesn't even matter. Like you ever took a picture of your mm -hmm. art, right? And put like effects on it where you can flip the colors. It's still the same piece, just a different arrangement. He's seeing yeah. that shit in a different arrangement <laughs> than, yeah, yeah. Right? Like different than the rest color. of us. So he's seeing, it's still the same shit though. It's just that where you're seeing a purple, he might see a blue. And I'm looking like it's a bird's, for example. And I'm like, yeah, I see We're looking the bird. Like, I can right see it like it's a pretty picture. Like uh, I think I can still tell that a picture is pretty. I might so not you see, see the, this sharp. is Christy, this Christy's pit, pit painting of her two lovebirds. Yep. So what color are those flowers? See, and that's when I'm like, man, why you want to be all specific? <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think? White and like pinkish. Like, white I don't and pinkish is a little bit of white, but mostly pink. You think it's a pinkish? Like it might be. Pink. I guess. I, I listen. The ish 
is giving myself yeah. leeway. So but I pull white... back because that because I'm colorblind. Like, like I said, as a kid, the, when the you look at the, the blue leaves. truck, and then he's like, "Yo, I don't see no blue truck." And they be like, "That's purple." Exactly. I've been doing that all my life. Like, oh, fuck. All right, I did it again. I messed up a color. So again. Yeah, so look, when, you see the you see how the flowers, <laughs> so the, the, you see how the tips of the leaves, those are mostly white. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And most of the pink is in the middle. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, whites, blacks, I can see that that white and that black on in, the, in your bed is as clear as day. It's oh, all oh, in yeah, between yeah. this yeah. Yeah. You see the volumes in regards to like the How about the line work? Oh, the line see, work you see. I can see the line work and I can see the the difference. Like I can see the tone. That's what I said what I think I, I can do well and, and blending and all that. Like I can see the difference in shades. I just can't tell you what the shade is. Yeah. All right, let's, let's begin to Arty for a second. Thank you, but let's bring it back. This is what I was. We thinking. went from killing niggas to <laughs> hold that thought. Hold that thought. The we'll find new ones back in to it. I want to just, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I can be a random fucking person. Okay, let's let's go. And I, I know we 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 uh we are both um we the same age, born the same year, both from Harlem. Yep. I always told you we have parallel lives. We were both uh, only so, only children for a while. Only said. children for a while. Um, and then um, also I told Kadeem and Christy, show some respect. You're talking to two oh. individuals that actually wore Dapper Dan exactly. fabric on their body. A lot Listen. of y'all have heard of Dapper Dan. He's a legend. We we, we wore it. You stop it. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I, y'all heard it. You were somewhere Dan, watching man. Telemundo just Ain't chilling. Back. Exactly. Yo, I, I was. Yo. I was on the ad, losing my hat, <laughs> losing my dapper damn hat. <laughs> but this is what I want to know. Fuck the bullshit. Save by the bell. Kadeem, I think you know enough. I don't people. say about that. Save by the bell. Who did you want to smash the most? And you, don't have to be <laughs> you don't have to just say Lisa, but if it was, it was. Lisa, right? Lisa Turtle. I know the listeners like, what? Yeah, I'm we just took a fucking that. turn for the, exactly. I'm cool for the better. I'm Lisa Turtle, Jesse Spano. Well, her woman feminist ass, uh, which I'm with, but you're not, we heard, but we'll get into that later. Um, oh, you're to give me trouble. I'm Kelly Kapowski. Oh, for the lady. Those three. Like so, Lisa Kelly. Turtle. What about, uh... Oh, uh, you were the, the uh, nerd? Remini, the one that she said, the one that was... The lever? Then yeah, she had the lever, nah, and then she, she don't came make back, list. and she was the, what's her name? She I'm was good the, on Shorty. No. She was on the, on the beach with him. With oh, 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 what's her yeah, name? I know you're talking about. That's Remini. That's, no, that's not, that's two different girls. One chick had the leather jacket. She was <laughs> whack. We're not putting her on the list. I forgot her name. I always thought that was the You same remember, was a, you remember like Kelly had left? Yes. Yeah, we talking Saved yeah. by the Belt talk. If you can't rock Saved by the Belt talk, I don't really want nothing to do it. I don't want nothing to do with you. So listen, at the end of the day, look. So, so you had... This is this is the three, the main three. I'm Kelly listening. Kapowski, yeah. Lisa Turtle, and Jesse Spano. Okay. Now you talking about the cutie joint he had when, when he went yeah, to the summer? Yeah, that's the one. I that's the one. That's the what's name but now. But that yeah. was a short stint, so you can't from, from King of Queens. Yeah, she from King of Queens. Exactly. But you can't. Yeah, she, you can't really count her. She didn't really do her rock. Those three do your rock. Who's your number one, one, two, and three from all from right. best to worst? So first of all, like not I said, worst. This is what I said. I was ready for this. First of all. All throughout my childhood, I used to tell every, I considered myself Zach Morris. Like, oh, I was the, the king of Morris. cutting school. I was a black Zach Morris. Like, I'm proud of myself. Like, I did some, that, that's a whole different, like, whole different segment. But, yes, I, I prided myself on being able to get out of school. So, as the black Zach Morris. Zach Morris is the man. He was. So, I know. I would say that I wouldn't. No. I have to go with, uh. Turtle, Lisa Turtle, because that's your number one. Everybody wanted Lisa Turtle when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, of course. She was the even though I heard she looks, she she's not the same. Yeah, anymore. she looked kind of nice. But that's okay. I still ride for you know. Who's your number two? Oh, um, Kelly. It gotta be because yeah, you don't like a strong woman. That's your problem. I love a strong woman. Wow. Woman is, is who puts you three. in the face. Like Why she's that just- type of strong. <laughs> like, and it's annoying as shit. But I love him. But um, Kelly. No, they it wasn't. It's not like Kelly. Yes. Remember when Jesse was on the um the speed pills? I said Kelly. I mean, yeah. Jesse. Remember Jesse took the yeah, pills? That, yeah, I ain't gonna front. Yeah, she was. Yeah, that she was, was real. Saying, that was that was very yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, that was a that very was some, special uh, episode. Cosby episode type shit. It was like. Um, Kadeem, you you fuck with say they re ran that fuck out of that shit. I've seen. Just so everybody know, me and Sean are eighties babies. Yeah, you not. Kadeem is a nineties baby. Nineties baby, literally. Early nineties. He ain't no ninety eight nigga. Yeah, he's yeah, he's not a forty year old. Ninety, right? Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Chub rock jump. <laughs> on the scene, <laughs> with the green and the black. We just made it. So, all right, got, real quick. Yeah. Uh, are, who's millennials? Like, are we are millennials? Like, we are millennials. Like, we're old millennials. We're the oldest ones. I'm not sure how to categorize. Now nah, we are. I've been mad research on it. Right, I did my research on it. We're millennials. We're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're old as millennials. Okay, so good. I'm in the middle. He's a young millennial. As a 90 baby. Right, Some of these motherfuckers that are like 
nineteen twenty. They're not even millennials anymore. They the next shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the ex, um, generation, generation Z. I. I. I think it's what? I. I like, it was like Z or some shit like no, that. No, I think we Z technically. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's up? <laughs> oh yeah, say by the bell, nigga. That's what's up. Oh, turtle. Who's sm- turtle be turtle. Turtle number one. We all being typical, but we all yeah. see the turtle. It probably be. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't do my list here, but who's number two? Probably be Kelly, as I said, number two. It probably be the same as him. I was trying to go obscure, but there was no other females. And, and, then, and, and then Jesse, I, yeah. I'm gonna go a little radical, and I'm gonna put Kelly Kapowski as my number one. Ooh. She was a sweetheart. You know what it is? Lisa's tur- <laughs> Lisa Turtle was annoying. She always she like she had head movement. She was black. She was very she stick was, up. She was she like, you know what I mean? Lisa, t- um, Kelly Kapowski was p- broke and shit. Yeah, she was broke. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? Up. I, she was more relatable. She was more relatable than she was from the That's how you know. She watched that show. You know, but you know who I ain't fuck with like that? I ain't fuck with Jimmy Slater like that. Oh nah, Slater he was, was a cornball. I mean, I fuck with him, but yeah, I, was gonna say, I fuck with Zach more. She was too poor to go to the dance. Like she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink, that's how my pops gonna buy the dress. Exactly, gonna buy the dress. That's fucked up. Like, but guy, go back to. Take you gonna take that person? Slater, come on, you go. <laughs> <laughs> she had forever twenty one. They gonna get a good dress out yeah. of here. Not, but listen, <laughs> Slater, you were saying it's like, Slater was a cornball. Is- like in the beginning, like the initial fight for um Kelly. Yeah, he, he was, was, he was like he said, this is the fancy color podcast. Say by the belt talk. Yeah. Get with it, nigga. If you can't get with it, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, nigga. But anyway, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, we want to talk about shit like that. But I'm gonna say, I told you my list, right? I'm gonna do Kelly Kapowski first. Okay. Then I'm gonna do. I probably I'll do Lisa second, and then, yeah, and then Jesse. Say, oh, you don't like a strong woman. Huh? Remember, buddy, remember buddy bands? Nah, that's show. Is that what it is? You don't like a strong Wait, what? woman. I say you don't like Jesse. You remember buddy bands? What's that? I see. I, I seen every episode. I, I got too nerdy with it. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, wait, you had a little too left. He said, hold on, you didn't bring that right back to the man. I was saying, I fuck around to the episode. This is a nerdy nigga watching this right now. Yeah, buddy bands, nigga. Let me tell you something. Niggas know buddy bands. Fuck out of here. They only yeah, had like, like said, they only I had 52 myself. episodes. Listen, I was a, a natural troll. I'm proud of myself. So I like I, I saw the episode when Zach cut school and he was like in the end. You know, he got caught because. He was in, in, the, in the baseball game and somebody was watching the baseball game and they saw him waving. Oh, oh guess what? We got Kyrie calling. I'm about to have to go on live. Put him Fuck on live. Yo, Kyrie, what's good? Yo, we doing the podcast live and you just happened to call, so I got you on speakerphone. What's going on, brother? But I got you. It's perfect. Real quick, we talking Saved by the Bell shit. Who did you want to smash in order? From Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, Lisa got Turtle, terrible. <laughs> Kelly Kapowski, yeah. and Jesse Spano in order from one to three. You're going to be typical and say Lisa Turtle 1, right? Exactly. As you should. I want to say Lisa first. Yeah. yeah. Lisa. Lisa first. Okay. Um, Jesse. Jesse's man. I actually Jesse's had a second. girl that You like wore like a... No, he wore like a Jesse. She was athletic. She was tall. We actually had one. Yeah. Intellectual talks. Did you have two showgirls? Oh, yeah. Showgirls. He did about showgirls. Showgirls. So, all right. Good point. Good point. It was trash. So, you putting you putting Kelly as number three, right? Yeah. Kelly's number three. So listen, I had a theory. I was telling them like Lisa, even though she was black and we we connected her because of because of that, but she was mad stuck up and bougie. Kelly Kapowski was broke. She couldn't even pay for a prom dress and shit. She was like relatable, you know what I mean? That's true. So Kelly, but Lisa was the cat. Lisa was the one you had to work for. No, I know, I know. But anyway, what's good though? Only person that only person that got with got with Lisa in the whole show was Zach Morris. That's when he was in junior high school. Thank you. I told oh, you. We didn't even talk about Zach, we, Zach Morris. We didn't even talk about junior high school years yet because I, I mean I didn't know if they was really about that life. You 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 want some extra nurture with me, so you Listen, you know about Miss Bliss and no, all no, that. No, no, no. Let me ask him real quick. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kyrie. Yo. Uh, the uh, remember the, the the one from the from the uh, the beach house the beach. The resort, Lisa Rem- uh, Remini. Uh, what was her name? That was uh, that was Remini, uh, the one that, that yeah. that's down with the yeah, science, yeah. Scientology. No, but what was her oh, name yeah. on the show? Uh, I'm trying to remember her name. She had the the, the crazy like Yo. Greek last name. Yeah, cutie joint. Uh, yeah, oh, that yeah. that was something. The Ruckles and what is it? But what was her name on the show? I can't remember her name on the show. Her well, father was a little fat. Little but bit. wasn't she the same one that had the leather jacket? No, tell her the, no. Yes, the, she was. No, she yes, wasn't. She was. That no. was the same girl. She remember the chick twice. with the leather jacket, Kyrie, that came when yeah. Lisa left. That's that the was same a different one. chick. No, it's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was no, so see. He was with me for a second. My nigga, I, I do this. I, I do this. My nigga, yeah. Culture. You know he missed the I'm gonna find out right now. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't care enough. We can all just Google it. I really don't care enough. <laughs> all right, yo, but Kyrie, well, listen, we start. We about to get into some modern art talk. We got. We went on a tangent, but. Um, you, we, uh, you know, you another person that kind of believes that you go, you're gonna come on, so we don't gotta we don't gotta get into it too much. But I know you another person that believes that that you kind of made statements like modern art sucks and, and shit like that. Um, you don't have to get into it right now, but I'm just letting you know that's what we're talking about right now. If you want to say something about it, you can. But that's that's what we're talking about right now. I expect it. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely. You know, I got I could put at least two cents in on the modern art scene. You know. Um, Okay. You know, I, I'm 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 definitely of the belief that modern art is it, it sucks. I mean, just that blanket statement it sucks. Um, but I definitely, but to oh. back it up, I definitely understand it's it's a purpose for it though. There's this, it needs to, it needs to exist. Um, Wait, why? We need why? the same reason why we need the same reason why we need mumble rap. The same reason why we need all that. the things. I know my friend. Oh, Listen. God. Wait, Kai. Uh, right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. But you know, you are a modern artist, right? No. no you're a current artist. I am a current, a current artist. artist. I am not a modern no, artist. That is a genre. I'm, I'm con- I am uh, just no, current. No, current. The, the official term is contemporary. There you like, go. Get the fuck out of here. God knows the words for every, everything. I'm sorry. Yeah, nigga. He knows Listen, everybody. I'm a modern artist, man. I'm not a modern artist. Listen, well, modern- well We'll let you debate this more. We we hear your take. We'll let you, we'll let oh, you. Yeah. you let we don't want to get your full view over the I'm phone. I'm gonna talk to you about that. So we'll right. we'll, we'll, we'll just take that on. We can we'll, put a pin on this. No no no. Now. Wait real quick. Hang, wait stay. Nah, he's still here. Because that's like um, what was that? G- um, Generation X. Like that shit ended. Like modern art ended in like the early '80s. It's like it ended with Homeboy. Like that's that generation. That's, that's old. Lie. Who's Homeboy, that's nigga? A lie. The nigga with the white hair. What's his name? Andy, Andy Warhol. Warhol. That one. There you go. That's a lie. What a uh, what, oh. what a credible art podcast we are. Homeboy, nigga with the white hair. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say when y'all invited me, y'all did not know. I didn't know a lot. Well, we about don't know art. shit even, nigga. He asked me about who's my favorite artist. He said I knew Rembrandt. <laughs> And that's really all I knew. Like I ain't, I don't got a lot. I, it's not like under my belt. I knew the famous ones. Yeah. I told them about Vermeer though. I feel like I. I, I yeah, we learned about Vermeer and all that. Vermeer sound like a light skin nigga with an attitude. Exactly. <laughs> he had a jean jacket. He might have been. And a mean. Al- he had a, he had a mean. With a jean jacket <laughs> with Alvy short buttons. From you the do. Heavy D tour. I know a couple of men. He live in Atlanta right now. Heavy man. D in the boys tour, nigga. <laughs> that nigga A and R. But listen. <laughs> Yeah, remember that City College shit back in the days when um, Heavy D and Puff was doing shows? Why is and this funny? Like, yeah, I was there. Like, I, was yeah, I was there. I was there. I was there. You was there? Yeah, so yeah, that, 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 this is Holy. a real tangent. I was a little kid. I was a I was small gonna say, kid. Like, I remember when my cousins this came is like back that from late, that shit like bloody. This is and late like, 80s, early 90s. I'm like under the age of 10. Um, Puff, Puff, before he was with Bad Boy and the mm-hmm. labels, he used to throw parties. It was um, Heavy D and the boys. A bunch of them motherfuckers. I'll be sure. I'm talking. Like, I was, like, my, I was with my mom. My, my pops was locked up. This was my Wait, mom. Who was your, your mother? My mom was young. She was, you know, oh, she, she was still had to go to events. Got you. She's like this. I'm going. I'm, She's you like, come, nigga, come on, get your shit together. Yeah. My yeah, mom, just, nigga, come mom, on, get your shit together. My mom, yeah, is, yeah, my mom used to always make me wear my hair like I'll be sure. She's gonna tell me I was gonna grow up to do it. I'll be sure. How'd that work out? <laughs> but yo, we going on a tangent. We, I'm sorry. You know I'm sorry. But yo, Kyrie, we gonna we gonna save you for the next episode. We yeah, gonna shout you, you come out back later, bro. All right, got you. one. All right, y'all. All right. All right. All right. Uh, but yeah, man, right there. my business partner. So he really <laughs> think my, y'all niggas is real pompous. Modern art, it sucks. It really sucks. But I understand it. Yeah, nah, come on, man. Y'all wilding out. No, yeah, I, when uh, I was making the distinction, I said modern art. I, I, he said contemporary. I said we, I'm just current. Like, can we Google contemporary? You can actually. Uh, there she goes. She's on it. So, what I was Christy's saying. On, no, she's, she's not. She's on Instagram she's right on. now. Like, no. Nope. This Kavanaugh shit. But now but, you got the pressure on you. Are we so, still recording? Uh, no, I'm just fucking with y'all. We good. <laughs> no, we good. I'm just <laughs> So, wait. No, you was at the joint? Like, I think I said, I remember my, my older cousins coming in the house bleeding. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. So, I was saying, yo, this is. And that's I was, it. Like, uh, that's that's the, like, that's a milestone. Like, that's amazing. Let's talk about you, Wolf. I was scared. Me and my guys and stuff. Me and my gossip, so, so the crazy shit. So it was like I said, it was a concert. What we was that like? What late eighties or maybe like ninety? That was like 92, 91. Okay, 92, like 91. Yeah, All right, early, cool. Early. So, so then, if, if it was ninety, if it was ninety, wasn't there. You definitely wasn't. If it was ninety one, if it was ninety one, I was ten. Some shit like that. So anyway, yeah, so yeah, so it was the a big concert. It was like in a. I, th- I feel like it was a basketball gym type shit. Yeah, it was in City College. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I remember, but I'm young, so I don't remember gotcha. the layout. 
I feel like it was a basketball gym. I'm young as fuck, me and my god sister. So it was a stampede. People started running. You know what my mom did? Some real superhero shit. My mom's, it was like a glass door. She kicked the fucking glass door. Boom, boom. And they got me and my god sister through so that, yo, that shit was a life or death situation. That was one of my life like, you death see situations. My eyes. I'm like, wow. I gotta tell, now I gotta tell moms my second. Moms are amazing. I just but that was a life and death situation. Shout out moms. Shout out moms. She kicked the glass through and, and pulled us through so that we got away from like the stampede of people and shit. And I forgot where the happened. You died just from the stampede alone. Like, that was one, but just because I'm on the thought of it, that was the first time I almost died back in the days. Oh, there, wait, almost, wait, there's more. The first um, time was actually before that in the, in the probably late 80s when I was really fucking young, like... Six or seven, eight in that range. Okay. I almost died in a skate key in the Bronx. If niggas know the real original skate key, yeah, Alex, this is his, y- y'all getting Alex historic. Y'all gotta New stop York shit, so young. man. We gotta be older. Stop oh, no, playing. No. And he's from Brooklyn, though, so he don't know about skate key. I'm from Brooklyn, so I'm here all the time. You empire, you empire skate key. No, Christy knows everything I'm talking about. Oh, you you from this era? She from the she from the Bronx. So you Alex? She's a little younger than us, but she still knows. Got you. She an '80s baby. But you remember? All right. So you remember Alex and? Skate key in Allison. So anyway, I almost died in the skate key. I almost died in skate key. What, because they had one exit? So nah, so what it was was, <laughs> that shit was, that shit was, was a death trap. True? Now this is some real back in the day shit. So you ever had a cousin, and they have a cousin, that's not your fucking cousin, yep. but it's their cousin? Yeah. So that was this nigga, this nigga was a fucking terror. Shout out, everybody's blown up, but this nigga Dante. I'm, that's how I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Dante <laughs> Anyway, shit. fuck that, Dante almost killed my ass. So anyway, <laughs> it's all love now though, but anyway, so anyway. So we had skate key. Remember the turnstiles? I do. So you used to go through the turnstiles, boom, boom, boom. They were little small turnstiles. It wasn't yeah, like it wasn't New York much. City. You can, you can actually some go around like it. Shit. it yeah, like some shit, yeah. Some shit where, you know what I'm saying? Almost made for little kids type shit. That's how little that shit was. I heard you. So I go under the shit. The nigga Dante, when I, we used to, kids used to go under instead of going through, I'm putting my neck under. The nigga somehow <laughs> pulls the back. And somehow, you in the back my, of nah, somehow my neck gets wedged. <laughs> <laughs> the turnstile. I'm The turnstile. I don't need to get the him over. I mean, he alive. Like, we see him. Oh, here. Oh, he made it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yo, it's okay, so I'm, my neck is stuck in the fucking turnstile, like the grips of light type shit. <laughs> Yo, that's all So y'all want to hear the, other, the flip side of the story? Yeah. So it was like panic. Nothing could get me out. All right, no, th- like this, this one, the story gets weird. We're not getting religious, but... If you, I believe in guardian angels out there, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay, I'm with it. Some big, strong, burly, white, old motherfucker. I, not old. I would say, like, middle age, like, in his late 40s, early 50s. Older white guy. I can't remember him specifically, but that's just the vibe. I feel like he had on jeans and a, and a T-shirt. He came and somehow ripped the whole shit out the ground. And I got free somehow, and then the nigga vanished. I'm gonna sound crazy, but when the nigga said, vanished. But when you said that's a true whole, story. When you said your whole neck got stuck in it, that was like, like some Ed, Ed, and Eddie shit. Where <laughs> just just like, like, yeah. He saw you. He just. <laughs> you're talking to artists. Like I always tell people, when you tell that me. That was the time I almost died. I almost died of Imagine times. what I'm gonna see in my head. I'm an artist. Like I, I'm very creative, and I'm gonna see some shit that you probably didn't out. Imagine this nigga neck turned into an S. That's not what I saw though. I saw actual panic and turmoil. But. Like, oh, oh, oh. That, that's when I was a goner. No, because you said you were about six or seven at, as a kid. Like, something might been like that to me. I was on a train. Uh, what's that, like, South Street Seaboard? Like, down, I don't, we was getting off the train. I don't know what train it was, but I, I went to step off, and it was a bunch of, as a class. And my leg went between, because I was very skinny. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not very big right this now. Nigga I'm still working was. on it. I'm like, nigga, you I'm working on it. Sir, I'm, don't judge me. I'm trying to get my life in order. you turn sideways by a lamppole, you I just eat salads. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was very skinny. Look, I'm about 225 now. I salads <laughs> in about, uh, <laughs> like, you know, that's working. I'm 100 to 125, man. <laughs> Protein like shakes. He's like, I'm thick. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking mad greens, like none of this is working for me. Oh, the dog so. officially went to sleep. She's done with all of it. Yeah, she's like, this shit wet. But my leg got fuck Rembrandt. My leg got caught. My leg slipped. The dog said, "Fuck Rembrandt." But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go stop hating on my leg. Listen, my leg slipped through the motherfucking the crack in the in the in the turn <laughs> in between the train and, and the platform. That's oh when my, my foot went through, and I was literally like, so leg like down in the train. Yeah. yeah. Why you went down there fucking around? No, I wasn't down. No, I was stepping stepped off the mistake. train. Yeah, we, me and my class. Oh, in the platform, in that gap. Like oh yeah. Six. That's and my foot went shit. down, and I was falling between that. And I'm in it, and they like trying to pull because the doors is closing. They like holding the door. Like, no, 
But that's sort of. <laughs> and it was literally like, yeah. Like so you have, so to you have one leg if you <laughs> have not stopped So you have one foot down in the thing. When in the thing, yeah. I'm like, on the joint, my whole That's my whole certified leg, skinny nigga, nigga shit. Blues. Up to my thigh. Shit. Like, you like, it's yeah. not even like my calf, like my thigh. Like, growing yes. everything is. I'm in there. I'm stuck. <laughs> you shouldn't even be in there that I much. Know, I should not be able to. <laughs> You had feet and shoes and they, none of that. None of that works. It was all too ass small. Why the fuck is you? The only time I had. Are we judging again? I thought we was not doing this. <laughs> I only had oh like God. a few dead death experiences. He got his hip bone on. But this nigga talking about damn near losing the whole entire left leg. Oh, what was Because yeah. he's too skinny. Because oh, he's missing Because he heels. couldn't step over the fucking I'm going to take all of this because, yes, I'm alive. Thank you, Lord. God is good. But, <laughs> but speaking of that little gap, I remember when, like, do it. <laughs> when my daughter was young, I always be nervous when I take the train with her, like always make sure she don't and hit she that should. gap. Cause you can fall with a little yeah. foot. He had a little foot. Yeah, I was I was like, I was had, like, the had a little man. You got your fucking head caught in the turns now. Like who does this? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, no, but a deranged fucking Boy, kid who uh, holds it back on me. I was like, how many times I got one? I was attacked. I was going to work down to the city. Um, that was assassination attempt. <laughs> that, wait, just a second. <laughs> they tried to take me out the game early. They tried to they get you out. None of this shit. So hold on. They said, I got him. <laughs> Damn, he made it out. <laughs> wait, I was at the H train. I was going I was going back to work. I used to smoke while we... Used to? On my lunch breaks. On my lunch breaks. Oh, lunch breaks. When I was working for the city. So I was going up and I'm coming back. And the lady getting on the train. And at some point, I guess she's waiting for a friend. So she jumps on the train and realizes her friend not with her. So she looks back, the, the door closed, and then it opens back up. So she goes to look for her friend, and then the door closes right back. Boop, boop. <laughs> but it does not open back up, my nigga. I swear to God, it's stuck. And she starts panicking, so all you see is oh this. Her arms and legs moving. <laughs> but the funniest shit on earth was, it was a nigga that was leaning on the door. Wow, cool young nigga, he looked up. He said, nah, miss, that's not how we ride the train. <laughs> I laughed so hard. Because, no, that's but, not how Did you say that's the craziest train. shit you ever seen on the train? Yes. That's not the craziest uh, shit. For me, yes, yes, a yes. Because that, that was hilarious to me. I still tell that story. A few weeks ago, I was on the train. Cause I like my little WWE events. I still watch okay. wrestling and shit. Yeah. So I was coming from the shit from Barclays. And these two dudes was arguing on the train, but they had went from one car to the next car. Mm. So I'm not thinking no way of it. I'm with my friends still. And next thing you know, like we got the doors open for like 10 minutes and then I see cops coming down. I'm like, what happened? And I stuck my head out. Them dudes arguing, one stabbed the other one on the neck. That's in the not middle funny. of the train. That's, that's not funny. Tragic. That's crazy. Really he said the crazy is not oh, the crazy. All right, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> he didn't say funny. So he stabbed him and we just like, oh shit. So we just thinking, okay, we gonna get going soon. An hour and 20 minutes left in the damn train station. They done locked all the doors. I got like claustrophobia. So I'm Wait, you on the train? The, yes, I'm still on the train. Listen, I almost didn't come here because I'm I, lately in my, my late life, I'm, I've am i become claustrophobic for something. I hate yeah. trains now. I don't know. Yeah, what, yeah. yeah I, I, I'm So I'm they locked all the doors. They locked the doors between the carts. So we just stuck in the cart and it's like halfway through like panic. the tunnel and it's like halfway out. I would panic. Yeah. I was just like. I'm getting sweaty. I'm, my hands is getting clammy. I'm just like, nigga. I would immediately I have to, to piss. Get... Like, all of a sudden, I my did. body would tell me, I, I, got, I gotta pee now. <laughs> I was like, oh, I no, a... I need to get off, baby. That's Let me go. Like, one dude was like, How long did you say? An hour and a half? An hour and a half. I did 45 minutes. Like, now was a lot. You, another dude was hitting what? the door and he was being stuck in the train in the tunnel. Not in a long time. I mean, I think, like, yeah, it's probably a while ago. No, no, I want him to finish this stabbing in the neck. Like, I don't think that's finished. Because, mind you, it's not like the nigga ran off. He stood right there. He's trying to blow me up to him I don't ride the train. I, I, I think I've, I've, oh, done, my, yeah, I've done my fair share of the train. Trust me. I, I, like I, I can't wait to get a car now because I'm done. I realize my life has told me like I can't. I'm, I, I'm on there. I'm just looking at people. Now, if we talk because I'm like, if we get stuck. If we talking funny story, that's I'm different. Gonna... That's one of them dudes that be like, you know, showtime, showtime, and they doing the dance. Oh, yeah, thing. like oh, yeah. telling So one dude yeah. went to like flip the other dude, but like, like, landed hand. on his neck. No, he busted his head on the ceiling of the oh, fucking train. I saw that. And he was just sitting there, just like, oh shit, like just hanging off the other nigga legs. They kept going, or that was a They just let him go. They was like, all right, nigga, you stay back. We are gonna finish this routine. I think I seen, a, I think I seen a homeless woman or an addict, whatever you want to call it, just straight take a shit. Oh wow, like that, that's not funny. That's kind of nasty, nigga. That's unsanitary. I seen the most unsanitary. I seen him get his phone snatched, like, and that's that don't sound funny. But it was a fat dude, and it was it was really it, he was a big oh, so dude. He had no choice. He but he was going after like, homeboy. Like, oh, he tried to catch him. Yeah. Oh, he tried, and and I, I told the minute I saw it, like as I'm going on the train, homeboy coming off, and the you big dude it. is you coming know. behind him, like, and I'm gonna like, get him, boy. But my thing was, I'll but you knew he wasn't work. gonna get him, right? He wasn't gonna get him. But, <laughs> but 
It's just more early money. I would have been I'd have been running behind him calling my job. Like, I don't think I'm gonna make it in today because I gotta go get my phone. Like, I'd have been on his ass. Like, I would I would have made that. Why you gonna call your day. job and tell him you need to go get your phone? Yeah, because I, I work for the city. You have to call. Like, if you're gonna be late, you can't but just how do you call it if your phone's taken. Damn, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I, I've been making this joke for about 20 years now. Now nah, I've only been. Listen, out I got a real lesson years. before we get out of here. I need to know what top three MCs from Harlem. Ooh, top three, like oh, top three, nigga. From Harlem, all time. Yeah, all time. Not from just all right. One era. Top three MCs from. I was about Harlem. to say Dougie Fresh, Cool Mo D. Yeah, I was trying, I'm trying to see how how much. Nah, I nah, this is your favorite. Want me start? Nope, I got it. Big L, one. Of course. Of course. Mace, two, Cam, three. All right. Mm. You got yours? Damn, okay. Um, I would say Cam, one. Uh, Mace, two. Mm-hmm. I have Joel, his three. So you're just going to leave Big L off the list? Like I never really you don't got have to, You don't have to know him. Like, Big L. But I was going to make, gonna make yeah, my point on why. I was going to say, if, like, we could go back and run and act and say why. Well, I think was, I never got really into Big L until later, but Joel's, I was like a teenager when I was like, I got like you. Joel's, like, I'm going to say Cam 1. Okay. Mm-hmm. Big L 2. Oh, and I want to, can I, re- can I re- about to get it? Cam 1. Big L 2. Because obviously we know Big L's nicer than Cam. Mm-hmm. But, okay. but I'm having other factors where who's just my favorite. No, okay. Do your thing. Cam 1. Big L2. Big L2. Oh, you want to I'm going Gen 3. Gem? 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 I know, all right. Now, let me go back and Overall, and yes. I, can I rebuttal? Now, if you talk about Mason <laughs> Start, yeah, he's on there. And now, he if you, he's up okay. there. Don't get a twist. I fuck with Mason. No, let me go back because you want to, because you want to, don't defend your shit right now. I'm going to ask you about that because you're saying <laughs> Mace. Mace was is, is worse than Jimmy. Nah, Jimmy, nah, nah. You couldn't we, even hold it. We just saying favorite. All right, go ahead, favorite. All right, got it. All right, so again, like if I we talk about who's nicer, nicer than yeah, then that's a whole different list. No, I just want to say like defend it now. Like what I was gonna you say. You want you want to say who's nicest or you want to go favorite? No, no, favorite no. You, made, you said your favorite. No, I said defend it. Like I, I want to go back around. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, but do it. y'all want to go favorite? Yeah, we doing favorite or nicest? Favorite. 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 We go favorite. Okay. No, they, now defending it. What I was gonna say, Big L, because I feel like. Him being killed at 24, 25. Yeah. He didn't have enough time. Like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Cam got a chance to reach his prime. Like, we see exactly. what Cam can become. Exactly. So, like, at his prime, like, we know he's like, he still got dope balls. Like, so I would feel like he still didn't have a chance. That's like all the young, that's, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a chance to for reach your, like, Biggie in him. But they still put Biggie at number one and Pocket number one. Exactly. They do it, but like, I mean, like, really, but you you didn't have a chance to really. Nah, see. I feel like Biggie and Pac did enough to be number one on certain lists. <laughs> certain lists. And so, I wouldn't put Big L. What are you making faces like that for? Uh, maybe. All right, well, let's, let's just finish the joint. Oh, okay, so uh, Cam. I mean, I I want to I want to change. I, I will go Cam. Cam second, and then Mace. I will say Cam because of Cam's work because he's been longer than everybody else. So I went shorter because Mace, uh, Big L didn't have a chance. Cam so wait, because, you say Cam first now? No, 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 I'm saying Cam second. Second. I, I right. said Mace and then Cam, but now I want to go Cam second. I, I really feel Cam should be number two on that list because Cam has been there since and beginning, third. and he's the longest. And Mace third, because Mace quit. Like that's why. Me, that's why he's not. A chance to be number that's two. why he's not even in my top three. Good but good. but he can maybe I be four. You, but I feel like his talent alone actually, because I was still back when, oh, uh, oh, uh, was that? Uh, uh, the dope in the Nordic coat under the drawstring. Watch out for cops, squad cars, and beamers. The law. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like that was that was the time when we was when I was a kid. Like that was the dopest shit. If you out. if you made me judge that was from that era, big out to us back then. If you if yes, if you make me judge from that era, you're right. If I'm a, if I'm a prisoner for that.